The guys over at Andy Cine sent us this. It's a low profile hot shoe mount which we think is worth shouting about. Today we're going to talk about its features, why we like it so much and the many different ways you can use it. Welcome to the film room. Nothing beats the traditional film grain aesthetic. So if you want to give your video a true cinema look or the film look, check out these incredible grain overlays by Rocket Stock. Their pack Emulsion was shot using real film stock, including Eastman Double X and Kodak Vision 3. Head over to rocketstock.com to see for yourself. It doesn't look like much, but it packs a punch. We were skeptical about making a review for a product so small and basic, but man were we surprised when we started using it. It has 360 degree rotation and 176 degrees of tilt. This is great if you need to flip the monitor for self-shooting, as well as positioning a monitor when shooting at some extreme angles. It's made entirely out of aluminium, or aluminium, which makes a great change compared to other budget hot shoe mounting systems. We've had a bunch of mounts in the past, and the ones that feature some plastic parts usually break before you can get them tight enough. It has a quarter 20 screw on the top for attaching monitors, lights and other bits and features a cold shoe attachment at the bottom for attaching to cameras as well as a quarter 20 thread so you can attach this bit to things like light stands. One thing that this hot shoe doesn't have is the ability to hand tighten. Instead it comes with a small allen key with just the tension on the rotation and tilt so you can get it rock solid or loosen it off if you want some play. What makes this better than other methods in my opinion is you can find that sweet spot where it will hold in place but you can also adjust it without having to loosen it off completely. It makes setting up the shot fast and efficient, perfect for run and gun shooting. It does mean carrying a small allen key with you on location to a shoot but I don't consider it a very big issue considering the advantages you get from this feature. This hot shoe mount comes with a bunch of extras. You get a handy padded tool case as well as a bunch of screw bits and a flat profile wrench which even opens beer bottles. I also love the size and weight of this mount. It weighs only 45 grams and its dimensions are 4.5 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters by 3 centimeters. So basically it's tiny and really light. We've used things like magic arms in the past to mount camera monitors to rigs before and although they provide a lot of flexibility they can be difficult to reposition and keep tight at least the budget ones we've used. The best mounting option we've seen for run and gun filmmaking has been the articulating arm you see on monitors like the small HD Focus and the Andy Cine A6 with its swivel tilt feature. But this hot shoe mount seems like the better option considering you can rotate and tilt. So this mount is light, small, strong and flexible but the best thing about it is when you start to connect it to other products. First thing we tried was connecting it between a shoulder rig and a magic arm. Like I've mentioned earlier, repositioning magic arm can be annoying as you have to slacken it off, adjust it, try to hold it in place and then tighten it back up again. This is even more difficult if you're trying to adjust it while it's on your shoulder as you really need two hands to get it positioned properly. By adding the hot shoe mount onto the magic arm it means you can easily reposition the monitor with one hand without assistance from someone else. The next thing we tried was attaching it to a crab clamp. The clamp we already have includes a ball head arm which gives you a lot of flexibility but it's another mount which is either locked or unlocked. By adding the hot shoe mount it means you can add slight adjustments without having to reset the lock. We will be reviewing this crab clamp by small rig in the next coming weeks so if you want to see all the uses you can get out of this as a filmmaker get subscribed. You might use this one, you might not. But if you have a video mic on top of the camera the hot shoe mount will give you the ability to offset the direction of the microphone. This could be handy if you're framing someone out of centre but you want to keep the microphone directed towards them. In all honesty if you're recording sound during an interview placing the microphone on the camera is usually a bad idea. We have a video talking about that, there's a card in the corner and a link in the description. But in a pinch you might find this technique useful. If you fancy picking up one of these little mini hot shoe mounts we've added a link in the description below. They are surprisingly versatile. You can subscribe by hitting that orange lens cap and remember to achieve it one shot at a time.